Hey guys, so in this video, we are going to be becoming a mummy. This is my day four look for 31 days of Halloween. I'm going to be skipping a few days, mostly the weekends, because for the weekends I want to work on my animation, special effects portfolio, and concentrate on that. So, uh, I'm just starting off using some Pro's Aid. And then putting it on areas where I'm going to be gluing down some just regular, what's it called, like, paper, like, napkins, like the napkins that you get. I'm putting a few strips on. And I decided to go down my neck. And then make this look like a, kind of like a, like almost a full body makeup, but not like, not past the chest area. some fortune cookies so I'm, I'm incorporating that i'm using that as like smaller bandages for this mummy i know it looks crazy right now but trust the process <laughs> receipt an old receipt for this might as well all right and i'm gonna be dirtying up these bandages making it look more aged i'm just putting a foundation on top it's the krylon on air foundation Okay, I'm just taking a project pan lipstick and using that on the edges of the bandages. <laughs> Right now, I just have to get rid of all the excess paper. So I was like, well, let me try cutting it. And then I realized that, you know, 
the pros they really stuck it down so I was able to just rip it off and besides the receipt the receipt was a little tough so I cut it out Alright, I'm just taking a triangle sponge and then just reinforcing the edges, gluing them down a bit more, taking my prosade and then just adding that to it. <clears throat> and that's the only reason you use a triangle sponge for glue, for special effects stuff, because I think on the face it wouldn't work as well, like for, for a foundation and all of that. Right now I'm just going to add some depth to my actual skin, just using a black, black cold pencil, it's by Nabby. I wonder if they're still around, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but they're good, I like, I like their pencils, their black one especially, their white one wasn't that bad either, but I don't have the white one now. Alright, and then since it's the cream, I'm just using my fingers to just blend everything out. I don't think I used that many brushes for this look. I mostly just used my hands. Right now, I'm just adding the lines, that same black pencil. Then getting all the detail in, very important.
taking a global body art silver silvery pearl white one because I'm like well I didn't feel like getting out my my white one so I just used what I had it was fun it was a good choice Just keep on filling in your guidelines that you added. The nice part with this brush is that you can do fine lines too because it's a squared off tip. So, I just use that same brush to add in smaller lines for detail. And then right here is like where you can gauge if you want to add more white or previous color used. So for me, I felt I needed a bit more of the darker brown color. So I'm just adding that into places where I felt I needed it for more depth. So 
And whenever you have, you know, lipstick colors you don't really like or, you know, just just make them into special effects makeup. It's way funner. And you're getting use out of your stuff that you already have. Just add in some contacts and then get all glam and spooky. Bye.